started with a dream. A dream to make India self-reliant. And 1952 was the year when O.P. Jindal turned his dreams into reality. Sixty-five years later, clocking a revenue of $22 billion, the O.P. Jindal Group is amongst India's top steel manufacturers and power generators today, with plants spread dotted across India and around the world. One of the flagship companies of the group is Jindal Steel and Power Limited. And its story reads nothing less than a bestseller with its own share of twists and turns. Cancellation of coal blocks by Honorable Supreme Court in 2014 was a, was a big setback not only for JSPL but I would say it was a big setback for Indian economy. All our plans that we had been planning in the last two decades and we had made investments of 75,000 crores whether it was in uh, power projects or steel projects and we used to plan, we used to take a lot of pride that we want to plan projects based on indigenous coal, based on Swadeshi coal. If today those coal blocks were not cancelled, today power would have been flowing like water in the country. Power would have been selling at 2 rupees a unit there would have been enough power, no bank account would have become NPA. And the country really would have, we would have been achieving double digit growth. One hundred and thirty kilometers from Bhubaneswar, Odisha's capital, lies the small town of Angul. The city had seemingly little to offer, until a team of experts looked beyond the surface and dug deeper, quite literally. The project was termed ambitious, wishful and almost impossible by many quarters. But Angul is today the pride of Jindal Steel and Power Limited. Angul Steel Plant is really the, the jewel in the crown of JSPL. The whole reason of going to Angul for us was that we had got a coal block there in 2003. Based on that coal block, we had a vision to produce steel on a, on a large scale, to set up a large steel plant based on Indian raw materials. World over, people make DRI, gas-based DRI with natural gas. And here we decided to make this synthetic gas out of the local coal available, cheap coal available. With the policy of government, these mines are deallocated, and then we were left with a option of importing the coal although we are sitting on the coal belt. And that was a time for a great setback for the entire company. The entire workforce, you know, based on the leadership which was provided, they all galvanized into action. They all decided that come what may, we are not going to allow this plant to shut down. All our stakeholders, whether it is our suppliers, whether it is our banks, whether it is our customers, everyone understood uh, where we were coming from. The fact that we had to pay almost three and a half thousand crores of additional levy. So it was a huge burden on the company. Uh, but you know, we rather than we took this challenge in our stride and worked harder. And uh, I feel that this would be the, this is the only turnaround story of any large corporate that you know, we've been able to make a comeback. So we are very confident that going forward, uh, we are going to emerge stronger. This sense of achievement was witnessed recently by hundreds of men and women gathered for the dedication to the nation ceremony of some of the key steel-making facilities at the Angul plant. The historical day was graced by the presence of Honorable Minister of Steel, Birinder Singh, as well as Dharmendra Pradhan, the Minister of Petroleum, Natural Gas, Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. Conventional route ki blast furnace, steel mill, ye sare ko aapne aaj rashtra ki naam pe samarpit kya. Pehli baar gasification plant, gasific koila se gas, gas se steel, ye dunya ka pehla plant hai. Usi ko aapke hath pe ham lokarpan karaya. Main abari hoon Abhin ji ka. Yehi wo aatmi hai, yehi wo naujawan hai. 
जिसने इस देश को नई सोच दी कि कोई अपना देश का झंडा कहीं लगाए घर पे लगाए बाहर लगाए और ये ये जो अब आज जिसका लोकार्पण हमने किया है ये भी नई सोच का हिस्सा है In pursuit of its mission to advance the Make in India ambition, Angul has left no stone unturned and no machine idle. The blast furnace here has made waves for being constructed in record time and in an extremely frugal budget. Thanks to the modern machinery that has been installed with the capacity to produce 4.5 million tons per annum of steel in its first phase with a total capacity of 6 million tons per annum. Standing tall At over 104 meters, the complex is spread over 80 acres, which produces tons of liquid iron every day. Blast furnace's uh, primary role is to supply hot metal at 1500 degrees Celsius to steel welding shop. This is a very old process, more than 100 years old process, and it has evolved since late 60s and all. It has evolved a lot. If we compare it to other blast furnaces, we have lot of instruments in the blast furnace which are not there in many blast furnaces. So we have lot of equipments on the blast furnace proper on all the systems which continuously measure pressure, temperature, uh, flow of various media and gives the feedback continuously into level one system. This level one system processes all the information and depicts it into a continuous graph graphical form for people to analyze and take action. Apart from that, we have a level two system. which is based on artificial intelligence and which can give you feedback 6 hours 4 hours 2 hours before some event is going to happen going forward the capacity of the angul plant can go up to 20 million tons per annum with an on ground infrastructure expansion capable to host a plant of this capacity the blast furnace route provides to be highly efficient designed to use 100% pellets which enhances the cost competitiveness of the steel produced by JSPL what truly manifests the company's technological innovation is its coal gasification plant this process is uh, purely based on the indigenous material we can convert the high as indian coal into the gas which can convert into the iron oxide into uh, sponge iron which can be again converted into the eaf into the steel so because of uh, this is the indigenous material it is not affected by the change in the exchange rate and you are not depending on the other countries people need to accept that the best quality can also be manufactured within the country the idea was that we don't have to import the coking coal which is an expensive thing coking coal is not so much available within the country so we have to import it from australia JSPL's Angul steel plant is an industrial marvel. It boasts of India's largest sinter plant at 5 million tons per annum. An important process to pile minerals into lumps before the raw material is fed into the blast furnace. This sinter plant possesses a state of the art waste gas recirculation system which reduces environmental impact through reduction coke consumption for sintering by approximately 5%. and will significantly reduce dust emissions to less than 5 mg per normal cubic meter a 2 million tons per annum coke oven but coke being the most important raw material for efficient functioning of the blast furnace the world's first and largest 2 million tons per annum direct reduce iron plant based on syn gas that uses high ash swadeshi coal India's largest high-speed 2.3 million tons per annum billet caster providing a steady supply of billets to the rebar mill which is the world's largest at 1.5 million tons per annum The steel plant at Angol also has India's most advanced plate mill with a capacity of 1.5 million tons per annum which is capable of producing 5 meter wide plates the widest ever built in India
sourcing power to Odisha's largest and most modern integrated steel plant at Angul with the capacity of 6 million tons per annum is its 810 megawatt captive power plant. The raw material handling facility at Angul is capable of handling 50,000 metric tons of raw material every day, taking its capacity to the tune of 15 million tons per annum. And last, but by no means the least, is its gigantic 6 million tons per annum steel melting shop, which is capable of smelting around 12,000 tons of steel on a daily basis. Any steel plant you cannot run without a steel melting shop. This is 6 million ton steel melting shop. And here we have 250 ton converter, which is having the latest technology. First time in India, dry gas cleaning system. It is having, so it making it most modern and most latest plant in India. Here we are processing the hot metal, receiving from the blast furnace. We have a multi option, we can melt the scrap also, we can use the hot metal also. That's why we have put one BOF and one NUF. And we are making API grades, most uh, competitive steel in the market. Manufacturing world-class products with unrivaled technology comes with its own share of challenges and JSPL through its peerless process management practices ensures that the 6 million tons per annum integrated steel plant in Angol stands tallest amongst its industry peers. Running a steel plant is no easy task because you have uh, so many tens of thousands of people working there and all these equipment, they need to be manned 24 hours. They're all very, very sophisticated. They're very sensitive. Potentially, they're hazardous. So you have to have the right quality of raw materials. Logistics is very, very important. Another challenge faced by the management is to ensure a safe working environment for its people. JSPL's 50,000 strong workforce works like a well-oiled machinery in its endeavor of building the nation of our dreams. The USP of this place is primarily the spirit of the people. We have faced a lot of tough times beginning 2014 and 2016. But uh, we have re-emerged, in fact, and uh, the primary reason behind is the never-say-die spirit of uh, all of us here at JSPL, particularly at Angul. Obviously, everybody was, uh, you know, uh, was very, very dejected and uh, they were very concerned. But then, you know, we all worked and we all started to work on the blast furnace. That, okay, if this is the problem, then we are going to make steel here. We are going to take it to 6 million tons. We are going to set up a blast furnace and coke oven and a center plant, BOF. So we got busy. Rather than crying over spilt milk, we got busy and we got uh, all our energies uh, to start building the blast furnace in a record time. And that kind of pride in what we have done is, is the basic essence of the inspiration and the inspired feeling within every individual here. Strong leadership, motivated teams, well-trained labor force and world-class technology and machinery make Angul the envy of the world. As a company, we are extremely conscious of the environmental uh, situation. When we set up the Angul plant, obviously at that point of time, the country already had very tough legislation in, in terms of environment. We are already following the European norms and therefore all the, you know, the stack emissions or the other environmental issues which are there, how, how do we make sure that 100% water is being recirculated and so on, everything has been considered very much. Thousands of people are employed in, uh, in Angul and with these, you know, the, the, the multiplication factor is at least forced. I would say, that if you look at today's scenario, Angul is the key to the success of JSP. Learning from all these challenges in the future, we want to be a lot more uh, conservative, we want to borrow uh, much less, we want to repay all this debt in the next 3-4 uh, years and in the long term, uh, we want to continue uh, to be the leader in the products that we make and also explore new opportunities. Spread across 300 acres of land, 
the GSPL has set up a modern residential township with housing for 2,000 employees and their families. The social infrastructure in the township also includes banks, a school, a community temple and medical facilities catering to its workforce, all located on its lush and pollution-free premises. What's more, there is now an airstrip at Angur that facilitates round-the-clock air connectivity, linking the plant to major cities. All these townships are extremely important because when you set up these plants close to raw materials and these are in remote areas, you have to provide all these facilities for people to be able to give their best. And JSPL, we also do take our CSR, our Corporate Social Responsibility, very, very seriously. It's not for anybody else, for our own sense of satisfaction. That if we have set up a plant, a very large plant, it must be able to improve the quality of life of people around it. Our CSR activities, uh, led by the JSPL Foundation, has done a tremendous service and created or worked around livelihood enhancements of the people. And it ranges from uh, the activities related to education, basic literacy, uh, health, women empowerment. Uh, Kishori Express is, is an initiative which actually has brought in the hemoglobin level of, of females around here, thousands of them, in fact, to a level which is absolutely far above the average of India. There are many families. There would be, I would say, there would be thousands of uh, cases where uh, JSPL uh, has been able to make a difference for the better. Uh, we uh, like not to talk about it because it is in our culture that you know we are supposed to do good work and we are supposed to do good work uh, quietly. We just do it uh, because it is our responsibility and we do it with a passion. My name is Gautam Behra. उम्र 35 तो हम लोग जिंदाल में डिस्प्लेस वाला फैमिली तो हम लोग को ओपी जिंदाल जो ओपी जैसी सी है इसमें ट्रेनिंग लिए हैं 2009 से तो अभी मेरा जिंदाल में नौकरी कर रहे हैं दोनों साल हो गया जिंदाल पे स्टोर डिपार्टमेंट में तो मेरा वाइफ भी जिंदाल में ट्रेनिंग किए हैं ओपी जैसी सी में हम लोग ट्रेनिंग लिए थे वो आयुर्वेदिक प्रोडक्ट के लिए वो सब सोप सांपू फिनाइल ये सब बनाते हैं पहले तो रास्ता ही भी एमपी नहीं था और खुद रास्ता सड़क बना दिए हैं बिजली दिए हैं पानी भी दिए हैं हम लोग खेती बुद्धि यहाँ पे करके खाते हैं तो हर चीज का फैसिलिटी हमको यहाँ मिलते हैं और सब लोग खुशी में हों बेटी हमारा जिंदल डीएवी जो दिखे हैं तो इसमें फ्री में पढ़ाई करते हैं जिंदल तरफ से नवीन जिल को मेरे तरफ से बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद वो सोचे हैं कि लोगों को मैं इनकम दू और घर दू अच्छी तरह से बच्चे लोगों को पढ़ाई दू बहुत किए हैं लोगों के लिए ईश एंड एवरी वन ऑफ अस फेसेस एडवर्सिटी in uh, different uh, walks of life. So I just think that uh, we have to continue to do our best because ultimately we can only, only have the right to perform. We only have the right to do our actions. We should be able to make a difference with the kind of products that we make in steel. That we must make the best quality products. We must be able to really make it the country of our dreams, be able to make a difference for the, for the good. And it is this very philosophy that runs right through at JSPL. A quest to overcome all odds. A steely resolve to be the very best in the world. This mantra has ensured that the integrated steel plant at Angul has delivered on its promise to serve the country as a paragon of excellence.